Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on Forgotten Weapons. Today we have a rather unique and interesting firearm to take a look at. This is a Type 99 Arasaka that happens to have had a Type 96 or 99 Nambu light machine gun mounted to the muzzle. Now there are a number of things that went into this conversion and it appears to be extremely well done. It's frankly, it's kind of slick. I kind of like it. It's not as muzzle heavy as it would look. It makes for a very stable shooting platform. Frankly, I think it would make more sense maybe if it were a sniper, um, which it's not. Uh, there are a number of characters engraved up here on the dust cover. There are a number of characters also here on the right side of the buttstock, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, what makes this particularly interesting is that it is not, in fact, a Japanese experimental gun. Although the workmanship is good, the bipod uh, mount and bayonet lug are serial numbered to the rest of the gun, but, as it turns out, this rifle was made by one advanced Japanese collector as a practical joke on another advanced Japanese collector. Uh, and the gun has floated around ever since, gathering interesting stories. I wanted to make sure, since I had the opportunity to take a look at this, we can get the truth out there in a moment. Like I said, I actually, I really like the, the mechanics of this gun. It feels nice. I think it's just kind of cool. Um, but that doesn't... One, one shouldn't take an opinion like that and jump to the conclusion that because it's cool, it must be authentic and historical and original. All right, let's take a closer look. All right, so here are the characters on the buttstock. These read uh, Ni, Kayuka, and then the Nagoya symbol, and then Shiken. That translates into uh, bipod mount, and then Nagoya, and then test. And then if we move up here to the dust cover, it's a little hard to get with the glare. That actually is Shiken, and then the number 22, which means test and 22. This is a first series Nagoya rifle. See the serial number and the arsenal marking there. It appears that the monopod block was actually ground off the bottom of the band, and the front of the stock was cut down to accommodate this bipod mount. So on the normal Nambu machine guns, this opening that the barrel is going through was actually an opening for the gas block. And then this was the bottom half of the attachment point for the barrel. With this conversion, the guy who made it added a sleeve around the barrel and he ran the barrel through the gas port opening so that the rifle can pivot just a bit, enough to be useful. The opening for the barrel here gives you a nice open trough so that you can see the sights. And then as with the Nambu, these legs can lock into two different positions out here, and then they can lock all the way back for storage without bouncing around. Like I said, this isn't as cumbersome and heavy a rifle as you might expect from the look of the bipod. I actually think it's, <laughs> I really like the handling, to be honest. Um, I like the height. Now, obviously the guy who made this was trying to base this on the idea that it would have been a Japanese experiment, probably intended to coincide with the period when they got rid of the monopods on the Type 99. Um, obviously, there is in fact no good reason that they would have experimented with a Nambu bipod, which is heavier and far more expensive than the monopods that they were getting rid of at the same time. Um, I should point out, this does have the bayonet lug, um, which would have been on a Nambu light machine gun and it's spaced correctly so that a bayonet does fit very cleanly on this rifle. Uh, the original bayonet lug on the front band has been ground off. So there you go guys. This is just a reason to remember, caveat emptor, not everything is what we would like it to be. Thanks for watching.